agreement, which would give us the power to um, put conditions to make sure that it would be compatible, compatible within the context of the area it's at. And we may, you know, it may be a good use to allow in some cases because you can imagine maybe Kettering wanting to use some of Chevy in the Hole for um, maybe a solar field to help generate power for the campus. So there might be um, uses that are appropriate, but um, it probably shouldn't be as open as the, um, as the green innovation areas because of the density that we expect in the continuation of Hurley and um, Kettering. So, you know, that my thought was to require development agreement for um, green innovation uses in this place type, but I'm, you know, looking for your guidance if you have other ideas of how to deal with that. Megan, could you explain a development agreement? Right, a, a development agreement is, some, is, is essentially more or less a contract that a city will enter into with a developer, um, allowing the city to place uh, conditions of approval on the site. Um, it's usually done in a way, um, in cases where you want to um, really control for potential um, nuisances, um, and through the development agreement you can require things like um, certain setbacks, buffering, screening, um, height requirements um, to make sure the compatibility of, of the use. So if a developer wanted to do something in that University Avenue corridor, he would have to come to this commission. Uh, there will be a, we can ask for a development agreement and stipulate as to what we wanted and how we wanted to happen at that Right, right. To, to allow the use only under certain conditions where the development is kind of controlled. Mm -hmm. Other inquiries from the commission? Um, since it's kind of part of the top, down part of the six, I, I, I'm comfortable with it, especially with the concept of a development agreement. I think that allows some, not only flexibility, but it allows some parameters of what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. Yeah. Campbell? They can't hear you. Could you use your mic? Can you hear me? Is it on? There. Hello? It is up. Can we move closer? Yeah, pull it. Pull it a little closer to you. I think it's Can you hear me? Okay. Push the uh oh, there, there you, you go. No. Can you hear me? I said, I, um, I understand and I agree with the development agreement that we do have a condition of approval, but I'm not quite sure. Would that be for everything or just the universal just, and renewed core, core? Yeah, just, just, why? Why just, there? just for any green innovation, innovation. use. Oh, any on green innovation. Right? Only okay. green innovation use on, in the University Avenue core, which those, their secondary uses stipulated on page 68. Right. And they show kind of larger scale urban agriculture. Um, they talk about, I think, green um, uh, production of um, biofuels and things of that nature, solar panels. And, and just then for clarification, the reason that this development agreement would be required for green innovation uses in the university core area as opposed to other areas is that because certain green innovation uses are incompatible with residential and multifamily residential? It's a permissible use within university corridor? Yep. Okay, thank you. It wouldn't be, a, it wouldn't be an outright permissible use. Any other discussion? Is there a general consensus here then? that with the University Avenue quarter, we go with uh, a development agreement? I'm comfortable. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. okay, moving on. Um, one of the things that we noticed um, in Chapter 8 that was um, sort of a whole was uh, dealing with solid waste management. Um, we do have some um, stuff in the version, um, the October 2nd, 22nd version, but not a lot about recycling. Um, and there are some things about recycling in Chapter 7 related to sustainability. So all we're proposing to do is um, just add a little bit more language about the city and solid waste management, including recycling in the infrastructure chapter. Okay. Question. Um, okay. Just some general information. Are we going to be uh, talking about where uh, the uh, waste management and recycling may occur? No, I think we just that the city needs to promote more widely recycling, which is already in there, but we would bring it into that chapter. And then um, there's some language in, uh, that talks about the, that we haven't really participated much um, in the Genesee County Solid Waste Management Plan, which um, is a requirement um, for the county to have that plan. Um, and also, we should explore solid waste management authority. Just explore because there might be some um, economies of scale if we countywide share contracting. Um, but but that's what's in there right now, and we just want to beef up about recycling. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. A little more. Moving on, um, issue number five, which was brought up in the Mr. chair. Yes. Just, do you want consensus, just so oh. staff can feel comfortable with that? Sure. I didn't see any. I guess I understand adding it, but will we un will we know what it is before we vote on it? I mean, or is this just something you're going to add, and we don't know what it's going to say? No. Uh, we, no. Basically, what I just said, which is participate in the solid waste management plan with Genesee County, explore. A, um, waste management authority and encourage um, and increase the rates of recycling in the city. Do you have anything on what other the solid waste planned? I mean, I don't know any, I've read about it, but I don't know about it. it. Um, so the county is required to prepare for the county a solid waste management right. plan that talks about how um, it, they basically have the power to regulate um, waste management services. Um, you, right now, you have to get a permit if you haul waste from the county, um, and they talk about where to dispose um, the debris and the idea of really recycling to reduce what we're sending to the landfill. And the city, um, there's a lot of criticism in the plan about the city because the city hasn't really been at the table. Um, and of course, we've only just recently gained recycling, so we're not really diverting um, to the landfill, so we think we need to be more active partners and with them. Um, and there might be an opportunity in the future, obviously not in the, this is not a short term, but a long term goal of looking at maybe a solid waste authority as a, as a means to reducing contracting costs in the future, working with other cities so we can bid collectively. We're just putting in language to explore that as a explore, explore okay. as a long term okay explore and then um, of course we do have language already in seven about increasing recycling rates but it's kind of missed and it's a little bit weak so we're kind of proposing to move some of that language to chapter eight where we talk about it any other discussion So this is to add, do we have consensus to add the language mm -hmm. to the plan? Yeah. Yes. As far as explore. Since the general consensus. Okay, issue five. Um, this is really just a carry through of um, the discussion we had on the 19th. Um, the implementation matrices, we received guidance from you to make them more general except for governmental agencies like the MTA. Um, the, ver the version before you, I'm not sure that we 
got all of them, we got most of them, but just we need to um, go through really carefully tonight and if with your authorization make those changes to be more general per the 19th. Oh, discussion? Uh, I guess my comment, Ms. Chair, would be is um, it appears that the staff is following up on the request that we had to make sure that it was more generic rather than specific entities and organizations unless they were governmental or being utilized as an illustration for a concept. So I'm yeah. comfortable with that, that the staff is following through on that request. Okay. So it's a general consensus here? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, great. Um, issue number six. Um, we had talked about this and we noticed that this um, version um, does not have language about the golf courses that we had already discussed in the, and we stated the guidance was to work with the community to determine other potential uses and develop a trans, transition plan when golf courses are no longer viable. So we're just want to follow through and amend this version to include that um, guidance, that language that we had already talked about. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Are you good with that? I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> Is we on uh, number six, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's part of the um, trying to address all those like hanging hanging chats. We're trying to remove the mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever is uh, outstanding, and that one we noticed didn't get addressed. So, Ms. Ms. Chair, yes, I, I do know because I know in the sixth ward there is one of the related golf course efforts, and I know we had the discussion of addressing that as a whole and. Appreciate the staff on catching that and making sure that it is included from our discussions. So from my perspective, I, I look at this as basically staff is saying they're going to follow up on what we had requested. Ms. Campbell? Okay. Good. Wait, yeah, with number six. Number six, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, number seven. Um, I think uh, there this is just something that we've noted that maybe could be strengthened. Many people are thinking that this master plan is just a city got document only. It's just the responsibility of the city government. And although, you know, in the matrices, there are a lot of other partners listed, in some cases not the city, um, we just think that maybe in the beginning there should be something in the intro that more explicitly states that the expectation is that the plan will be carried out by more than just the, the uh, with direct involvement of the city government. So we were just thinking maybe uh, to tweak the introduction a little bit with that, that comment. I like that idea. Okay. Yep. Any further? I just have a question. Um, and this may be more germane to the actual implementation because once this document, you know, becomes uh